for eight troops strong and conditioned so this is the beginning this is the beginning for you guys who want to take things to the next level guys who want some structure and want to master certain elements of the burpee so that they can build the confidence along with the fitness level to start taking things up a notch and moving towards those meteor numbers which they see all the top guys perform and we need to start at the very bottom but that's good never be dissuaded by the level you are at at this point think of it like this Buppies are a story. Your buppy journey is a story. And stories need structure. No one watched Rocky and seen him win the first fight. It would have been a crap movie. We've seen Rocky struggle at the beginning, but working hard, progression was made, and we all know what happened at the end. And it's the same with your buppies. The purpose of this video is to establish good, thorough buppy technique. That is the baseline that we need to establish at this point. We need to make sure our burpees are effective and they're good. We need to make sure that we move well and we're extracting every single bit of juice out of this beautiful exercise. During this series, we will be focusing primarily on the six count or strong style burpee and at a moderate pace, which will allow you to get involved. It's not going to be a case of trying to hammer through high numbers in a short space of time. It's just all about developing technique and the capacity to just work, take things to the limit, maintain that for a while, and then move on. What I intend to do is I'm going to break down the six count burpee and show you how I would perform that. Hopefully there's some things in there that you can take on board if you can perform them and start to adapt it to your own burpee. So without much further ado, let's get rocking. The first port of call when it comes to mastering the six count burpee is foot position. Where do we keep our feet before we start the movement? Let me show you. The foot position I would suggest is this narrow stance. The reason I choose a narrow stance is because when I go to touch the floor, my hands can also be in a narrow position. Now, if I was standing like this, what would happen is I would get my hands down and my knees would be behind my hands or they would be in between, which is far too narrow for the burpee. So we're looking to maintain that position, which is this, so that we can get down and touch. Now, as we go down to touch the ground, we are naturally going to come off our heels at this point, and that is no big issue. That is something that you should not be getting yourself worked up about, because at the end of the day, you need that spring back to get into push-up position. So, when I am in this position and I go down, this is going to happen. That's cool, just go with the flow in that respect. Now, once I am in that position, my next port of call is to kick my legs back as far as possible, then get into that push-up position, maintaining that neutral spine and getting your shoulders directly over your wrists. So we kick back and we're in that position and we hold it. Just get used to that position. That's what we're looking for. Now, once we are in that position, we drop to the ground and we make sure the chest hits the floor if we can. We go down, hold, up into full lockout. Once we have achieved full lockout, we need to get back to where we began. So we bring the feet back into the same position, keeping the feet close together, back onto the toes. Now naturally, because you've established that hand position, your knees are going to be nicely between your arms. At that point, it's straight back onto the heels and standing up. So let's look at that once more so we can see a nice six count burpee and fluid action. So when we establish the counts, it kind of goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, one. 
So hopefully that helps you guys and gives you that foundation of which you can start to make moves. Remember guys, just get the work done. This isn't difficult, it's just something that you need to stick to over time. Always remember the first two weeks is going to be painful, but once you get past that point, then the euphoria kicks in and you start to make the gains that you crave. Hopefully this video helps. Hopefully we can get this series kick-started and get you guys into fighting shape and starting to rip their burpee programs up with aplomb.